Governor Mark Dayton is poised to veto a tax cut bill touted by House Republicans. Dayton says the bill has a drafting error that puts some $102 million in taxes on charitable gambling in jeopardy. The error could be fixed in a special session, but Dayton wants Republican leaders to agree to his conditions before calling them back. Those include additional spending and borrowing that would benefit public colleges and universities and transit projects in the Twin Cities. Today, flanked by business owners, right. farmers, morning, veterans and so students who would benefit from the tax Obviously, breaks, uh, House Speaker Kurt uh, Doubt and other Speaker Republican Obama. leaders called on the governor yeah, main, main to approve the tax uh, bill independently of any special session consideration. If the governor wants to veto this bill, uh, you know, I think it would be a, an incredible shame. I think it would be letting a lot of people uh, like these uh, with us here today down um, in the state of Minnesota. Uh, the governor knows full well that this one word problem can be fixed a, a number of different ways. Um, in fact, when his staff reached out to our staff initially uh, to report that there was a problem, they actually indicated that it could be taken care of administratively, that it wasn't a big deal. Um, I think then someone realized Realized, oh, this must be a big deal. And, and uh, all of a sudden they tried to exert uh, some leverage using this one word. And, and that's really unfortunate. So, um, I, you know, I expect the governor to sign this bill today. The governor has until 11.59 p.m. tonight to sign the legislation for the bill to become law. Neglecting to sign the bill will result in a pocket veto because the bill was passed during the last three days at the end of the legislative biennium. The omnibus tax bill received bipartisan approval in both the House and Senate. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.